Lucretia Newman has already won $7,500. She is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. A nine-letter word. The clue is their pockets are hard to pick. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. All righty, thanks everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by, we've been trying to throw this around. It's either Linda Dings or Linda Dingus from Pleasant Hill, Missouri. You know who you are. You've got a T-shirt on the way. Today, the jackpot is worth $5,000. Winner will get a chance that later on the show. And Charlie has our first two players. She's our champion. He's a management consultant. From Seattle, Washington, Tracia Newman. And from Tucson, Arizona, Tom Dorgan. All right, nice to have you both here. Tracia has $7,500, and uh, anything you'd like to tell us about yourself, Tracia? Well, I'm an elementary teacher, as I told you yesterday, and I'm a clown. I studied with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey, and now I'm rich. <laughs> now you're rich, $7,500. Let me ask you a question. I was just thinking about this uh, after yesterday. Uh, when All teachers have the summer off, usually, except in L.A., where we're going 12 months a year. But in most places, all teachers usually have the summer off. Now, do you go be a clown in the summer? Sometimes I do. It's not a regular job. And uh, I'm working on my master's in, the, in arts and education, so I take master's classes for I guess that. a better way to say that is do you go do clown work instead of I be a clown? I, well, I do both. <laughs> okay, Tracy. Good luck to you. Hi, Thank Tom. You. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm visiting from Tucson, Arizona, and I'd like to say hello to all the kids at Grove Center School out there today. Are you a teacher, too? No, my <clears> sister <throat> is, and she's been so kind to put up with me for the past few days that I wanted to say hello to them. Oh, well, how nice of you. Uh, see, you're the challenger. You're going to go first. We'll play Scrabble until somebody gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They have a chance at the bonus worth possible 5000 Take a look at the game as we, or the board as we set up for the game. <laughs> Building on the letter D, there are seven letters. The clue is sometimes the bathroom is a good place to do it. It's up to you to figure out what that is, Tom. Well, I'll take the one and the three. O or an N? Place the N. Well, that's a stopper. Tracia? Take the nine. O or an M? Place the M, please. Sometimes the bathroom is a good place to do it. And the O? Take the eight and the seven. W or an L? I know it. Um, I'll, I'll play CL. Debbie is a stopper. Sometimes the bathroom is a good place Remodel. to do it. Remodel. Remodel, exactly right. Yeah. All right, Tom, building on the letter E and remodel, there are seven letters in this word. The clue is some men prefer fuzzy ones. I'll take the four and the five. E or a D? Place the D. No. No, oh, that's a stop. Tracia? Okay, I'll take the seven. E or an A? A, please. Some men prefer fuzzy ones. <laughs> the six? Oh, I'd place the E. Well, that's all right. We won't show you what that is yet. All place right. the E and see if it falls in. Now you have the seven in, right? Yes. And uh, another one. And word. the nine. A C or a P? P, please. Some men prefer fuzzy ones for five hundred dollars. Peaches. That's exactly right. It is peaches. She's rocking and rolling again. I do. Don't you prefer fuzzy ones? No. I thought they were going to be navel. Oh, they got those, but they have those. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're like slick peaches. What are those? Nectarines. But they're big as peaches. Some of them. Great big ones that come from South America and stuff and speak Spanish to you after you eat them. Hmm? Yeah. I like the fuzzy ones because I think they're sweeter. They give you diarrhea. <laughs> Don't you hate those commercials? Have you seen those things? Don't you hate them? I just hate those commercials. One, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. My wife and I were in Mexico, and while we were there, oh, bro, I just, oh, the worst. Oh. Well, Tom, 
let's scale things up here. Building on the letter T in spatulas. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it. Whoops. Hold on. I may have messed up here. Hold on. Wait, I'll find my ball. Yeah, just stick with me now. Trust me on this. All right, let's put spatulas in. Spatulas. Can we put that in? Huh? Got it in? Boy, I'm really messed up now. Okay. All right. I've got to make sure. Let's see. Aha. That's spatulas. They, were, they can pick up a hamburger at work. Out. Building on the letter T in spatulas. Five letters in the word. The clue is his conscience, conscience is clear. His conscience is clear. <laughs> the four and the seven. And a P or a C? A P. No. no. Tom, you're just having no luck. Tracia. I'll take the six. Place the C, please. No. Two stoppers. Okay, Tom, back to you with only one stopper left. You've got to get this one. You've got to get this one. Three. His conscience is clear with an O and a B. Place the B. Mm. No, no. Place, place the O. It's worth $500. His conscience is clear. Want to guess? Uh, robot. That's right. It is robot. You didn't wonder about me. You didn't want to play spatulas anyway. No, no, I didn't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hundred. There you go. Make sure I'm doing this right now. Building on the letter R and robot. Going to stay with you, Tom, since you're one behind. Eight letters in this word. The clue is some of them own Jaguars. Take the three and the five. A C and a U. Place the C. First position in the word, it's worth $500. Circus. Yes, that's right. Singular or plural, but look where the U went. Oh, the U was worth $1,000. Too bad. I'm going to give you pink ones anyway. Money's money. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okay, it's all tied up. Anybody's game. Uh, hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. The last one's up to you. Uh, good luck to both of you. It's anybody's game. Building on the letter A and uh, eight letters in the word. The clue is... It goes for miles. Ready? Go. It goes for miles. It goes for miles. Tracia. Warranty. That's exactly right. We ended up with $1,000. That's Thank not you. too bad. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Enjoyed having you. Grace is up to $8,500. She's just rocking and rolling. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. All right, Tracy Newman, $8,500. Doing real well, huh? Oh, good. You Thank fun? you. Yes, I had a great time. Yeah. What does a teacher make a year? Not much. Well, what, what, yeah, what do you mean? Well, it depends where starting. you are, and it well, depends on like how it. long. But just starting out, under 20000 probably like 18000 don't Garbage men make that much money, that's don't right, they? That's right. That's right. Why is that? That sounds like it doesn't sound it right. It makes no sense. We're, we're grooming the future Americans, and still, <clears throat> not making enough. Nothing against garbage men, by the way. I just, you know. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to get it for that. I know I am. All right. Anyway, four words. Get trash for that. That's right. Uh, going to establish the time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come up here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's uh, what stops the clock. There are no stoppers. All the letters are good. First word has six letters. Some wise guys claim it's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Ready? Ready. Go. S. D. N. H. Some guy, wise guys. Danish. That's right. The second word has seven letters. Wild bunch. The wild bunch. Wild bunch. Ready? Ready. Go. A. S. T. The wild bunch. S. Daisy. That's right. The third word has eight letters. A famous weightlifter. Famous weightlifter. Ready? Ready. Go. R. L. G. A famous weightlifter. V. A. Leverage. That's correct. The last word has nine letters. 
They have their negative sides. They have their negative sides. Ready? Ready. Go. B. R. S. They have their negative sides. T. I. Battery. Yeah, 30.4. I think that's a good time. Seems like it's long, but there were some tough ones in there, and you got through them with not much to spare. So 30.4 is the time to beat. We'll take a break, come back, find a challenger for that time right after this. Thank you. champion and uh, she's made a lot of money. You're doing real, real well. And we have two new contestants and Charlie's got them. Charlie? She's a server. He's a house manager. From Seattle, Washington, the Arlen Gallmeister. And originally from Alexandria, Virginia, Chip Puskar. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you doing, darling? <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. I'm a server at a great restaurant and a hostess at another one. I have a 12-year-old daughter named Desiree and a great husband who mends souls. Who mends souls? Right. What does he, he do? Shoe repairman. Oh, I see. Well, it's nice to have you. Good luck to you, dog. Uh, tell me about yourself, uh, Chip. Well, I'm originally from Alexandria, as Charlie Tuna said. Great city. And, yeah, it's it is. I know Alexandria, city, yeah. Virginia, very well. Right here, down near D.C. Yep. Um, came out here about a year and a half ago. Right now, I'm a house manager at an improv improvisational comedy theater. Good. Do you enjoy that? Oh, yeah. It's it a ought lot to be a lot of fun because oh, it's entertaining. Great. You sit oh. there and you're entertained all night long. And every night it's something new. So sure. You're having a great ah, time. What a fun job. All right. Nice to have you both here. Who won the toss? I did, Chuck. Let's go to the board. <laughs> Building on the letter R, there are eight letters in the word. <clears throat> Excuse me. The clue is where if you ask a stupid question, you'll get a stupid answer. Okay, Chuck. I'm going to take the one and the two. A W and an S. I'm going to place the W, please. No, sir. That's a stop. Darling? Ten, please. Enter an S. The N, please. Where, if you ask a stupid question, you'll get a stupid answer. I don't know what place the S. Nine. Let me eight. O and an L. The O. And the L. Nope, the L's a stopper. Chip, it's all yours. Okay, Only Chuck, one stopper I, do, left. I don't have the answer, so I'm going to take the three and the seven. Have an E and an S. I'm going to place the S, please. Where if you ask a stupid question, you'll get a stupid answer. And I'm going to place the E. I'm going to take two more tiles, Chuck. The four... And the six. Another S and a C. I'm going to place the C. For $500, where if you ask a stupid question, you'll get a stupid answer. Uh, Congress. That's it. Now, what does that mean? Why, why Congress for that? Anybody? Because you get a lot of stupid answers there anyway. Uh. <laughs> the man who believes in the American system, obviously. One, two, three, four... 500. Thank you. Very good, sir. Okay. Congress gets a lot of flack. Building on the letter O in Congress, darling. Seven letters in the word. The clue is where uh, you can hear a lot of duck calls. What? I have no idea Nine what this means. H. H or an E? H. And the E. Where you can hear a lot of duck calls. There, I like this one. I don't even understand it, but I like it. There's something about it. That's okay. The X, please. Very quiet in the audience now. Where you can hear and the G. a lot of duck calls, and that's a stopper. Over to you, Chip. Okay, Chuck, I think I know it, but I'm going to go for some money. Okay. I'm going to take the two. And the four, please. D or an F? Well, I'm going to place the F. Foxhole. That's right. Foxhole. We see incoming. Oh, duck! Oh, oh, okay. All right, duck. See, I have pictured a bunch of furry little foxes down there going, quack, 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 <laughs> waiting for that duck to come by and... 
snap that little sucker's neck off. Okay, here we go, darling. Building on the letter L in foxhole, eight letters in the word, the clue is it sticks out in a crowd. <laughs> and M and I. F for a C. C, please. And the F. No, that's a stopper, too. You're not having much luck with these things, darling. Okay, I'm going to take two tiles, uh, two and a six. N or an S. Um, I'm going to place the N, please. It sticks out in a crowd. And the S. Uh, could I have the clue one more time? It sticks out in a crowd. Okay, I'm going to take two more tiles. <clears throat> the four and the five. A and I. I'm going to place the A. That's a stopper, darling. If you have any idea what this is, take a tile and get to busy. Get to business. Get to busy. E or an I? The I, please. <clears throat> there it is. Thousand dollars. It sticks out in a crowd. Silicon? You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're out of time. Going to continue this in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. The last one's up to you. Uh, we're building on the letter O in silicone. Five letters in the word. Darlin's trying to tie it up. Chip's going for the game. The clue is a popular place for kings and queens. Ready? Go. A popular place for kings and queens. Chip. Hotel? No, sir. Darlin. Motel? That's exactly right. It could have gone either way, so she, this was a bad guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. All right. Anybody's game. Building on the letter L in motel. Seven letters in the word. The clue is they used to turn up a lot of juvenile delinquents. Ready? Pardon me. They used to turn up around a lot of juvenile delinquents. Have we got it? Go. They used to turn up around a lot of juvenile delinquents. Chip. Collars? That's right. Well, you've got no complaints, do you? With $2,000, boy, that's, that's more than some people went up to the Red Scrabble's print, so you've done well. Uh, thanks for coming on the show, mm -hmm. and Get ahead of you. And Chip's got up to, he's got 1000 He's going to go try to put another 1000 to that. We'll be back to watch him. Right Some of today's participants will receive Sergio Tacchini's European design his and hers outfits, a choice of activewear, tennis wear, and shoes, and the latest fabrics and colors, furnished by Sergio Tacchini. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Charlie. Tricia Newman has $8,500. She established a time of 30.4 seconds for four words. Chip uh, Pusker has $1,000. Is that right? Yes. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Uh, this is 4,000. Remind you to play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And there are no stoppers. All the letters you see are good. Okie dokie. First word has six letters. Some wise guys claim it's a piece of cake. Some wise guys claim it's a piece of cake. Ready? Ready. Go. Yes. Call. N. A. Some wise guys claim a it's a piece of cake. Danish. Danish. Yeah. Mm. It's all right. You get the hang of it now. Yeah, Second yeah. word, seven letters. The wild bunch. Okay. Um, Ready? The wild bunch. Ready. Go. S. E. D. The Wild Bunch. F. I. The Wild Bunch. I. Daisy. Yep, that's right. The next word has eight letters. A famous weightlifter. A famous weightlifter. Ready? Ready. Go. R. L. G. V. A famous weightlifter. Leverage. That's correct. The last word, you have 5.1 seconds left. It has nine letters. Uh, you're not going to be able to place too much, so you're going to have to think about this one. Nine letters. They have their negative sides. They have their negative sides. Ready? Ready. Go. B. E. I. A. Uh, I'm cooking off batteries. What yeah. are you looking for? It is batteries. Congratulations, Tracy. You're a little nervous. That's the end. 
Jeff's going to leave us with a thousand. Thank you very much. Tracy's going to come back with us and try for six thousand. We'll be back. Tracy Newman, 9,500 already. This is for 5,000. Knocked this off yesterday. See if you can do it again today. The first word. See what we got. <laughs> you can get this one. Good. <laughs> uh huh. Well, you got this one. Easy. First word, six letters. They always try to put on a happy face. <laughs> they always try to put on a happy face. Ready? Ready. Go. Clowns. That's right. 9.4 seconds. For those of you who don't know, Gracia is a clown. Uh, she's a registered kind of clown or something. She's with uh, Barnum and Bailey. Second word, seven letters. He's famous for his cocktail. Famous for his cocktail. Ready? Ready. Go. R. T. Rooster. That's it. You got it, Kira. Starring Chuck Woolery is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tennis speaking. Scrabble is a Red Grundy production.